Uh, welcome, Sneha, and we are very glad to have you as one of our esteemed uh, speakers at Global Testing Retreat, this year's conference, and which is also the fifth edition of the conference. So, can I request you to introduce yourself or talk a bit uh, something more about you? Sure. Thank you, Harsh. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I'm Sneha Vishwalinga. I work as a staff software operations engineer in a medical device company in Pittsburgh uh, in the United States. And I started my career in R&D doing some development uh, as an intern and then spent a good amount of time in test automation and in the field of QA. Um, now I'm currently exploring my love for automation and the infrastructure side of things and working with the developer productivity and things like that in software operations. Um, I want to leverage my experience in the wide range of roles to influence more of a holistic uh, quality delivery uh, process. And apart from that, um, I highly value the human side of tech and I love working with people. I gained a lot of, um, like I gained a lot from my mentors throughout the years. And um, whenever I ask them, what can I do for you? They say, just pay it forward. So as a way of paying it forward, I like to blog and I, I currently make uh, YouTube videos where I interview industry experts and we have conversations talking about how we started and advice and career tips and interview tips and all those good things. So that is about me. So thank you so much, Neha, for quite comprehensive introduction. And you mentioned that you are currently exploring on the automation and the infrastructure side of things. And I believe uh, that is also uh, the topic at this year's conference. So I suppose you are speaking on uh, distributed testing infrastructure using infrastructure as code. So can you highlight some? Uh, so yeah, so the topic that I chose for uh, this this talk is more like managing test infrastructure using uh, Terraform, which is infrastructure as code. So we know that you know virtualization and cloud-based infrastructure as such can be used to scale test automation by reducing the investment in the physical hardware, uh, which is needed to set up the test environment. So you know using distributed test infrastructure. Uh, we know that web applications can be tested on a variety of browsers and operating system combinations. So in this talk, we will be going over the evolution of test infrastructure to set the perspective and uh, to go to go over so that uh, even people who haven't experienced this before can understand uh, what we're talking about and where we're coming from. And then we'll be taking a deeper look at how to design and manage a solution that is uh, scalable and on demand and cost effective. And um, we'll be seeing a demo in which we'll be using Selenium Grid and AWS and Terraform um, as an infrastructure as code solution. And we'll all also talk about other options and other ways we can design this in the process. Thank you so much, Neha, for that. I think you rightly mentioned about uh, reducing the hardware cost and going the cloud way. And that's where the direction is. Everyone is moving towards cloud and virtualization. So I think your topic uh, is very much relevant. And with the demo, I think there is a lot of uh, insights and learnings which people would uh, take uh, away from the session. So uh, Sneha, moving ahead, I would uh, want you to ask that what keeps you going and what is your passion? You mentioned that giving back to the industry and you have, you also blog. So apart from that, what keeps you going on a daily basis, Sneha? Uh, that's a good question. I think for me, uh, I am a big time planner. I love to plan and um, I think what keeps me going is setting small goals for myself and then planning to achieve those goals um, is what is what keeps me going. Like I'm so excited to wake up the next day because I already have what I want to achieve that on that day planned and then I keep going to work towards that. Uh, it's also scientifically proven that, you know, uh, working on something and achieving that something releases dopamine and uh, dopamine is actually um, a feel good a feel good um, releaser you know so that is something uh, that i i think that is something that keeps me going just uh, certainly, certainly <laughs> yeah. so yes it's like every small chunk of work done or something like that uh, gives pleasure and gives certainly releases dopamine and it's a feel good factor i think uh, that we get after doing something 
Absolutely, yes. Just just having to do list. It could be something as small as cleaning my refrigerator, maybe <laughs> you know, <laughs> just something to plan and work towards my plan and get it done. I think I think that is something that just keeps me going on a day to day basis. Yeah. So every small tick on the list keeps you going, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> So uh, moving ahead, Neha. So you mentioned that currently you are in US. So uh, you, uh, would you like to share something uh, about your hometown or your native, uh, some special memories or uh, something that you cherish from your hometown? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so my hometown is Chennai. Uh, growing up, I've I've moved around a lot because my dad just had a transferable job. so um but every year i used to go back home and uh, i just love going back to chennai because my family lives there and i love the white sand beach and all the temples and all the beautiful things in chennai and the food especially and above all it's it's my people and it's my family that i uh, like to go back to and every time i go back home i uh, i use that time to go to every relative's place to eat because my family is known for it uh, their cooking and then i like to go to the restaurants and eat all the south indian food possible that i can get my hands on uh, thank you so much neha for that i i completely agree and concur to your point even though i'm not a south indian but it's like the south indian food is amazing and <laughs> i always uh, cherish eating uh, south indian food is amazing neha so thank you. um Yeah, moving ahead, Nia. I wanted to ask that uh, you blog a lot, you talk a lot uh, with folks uh, among the industry. So, would you do you like to read as well some favorite books or some favorite authors? Would you like to share uh, with a larger audience? Absolutely. So, uh, so my my love for reading uh, started a little late. I would say, like in my childhood, my mom would give me all these fiction books, but I would read it, but just as a, I would always complain while I'm reading those books because I could I could just never relate to those books. But then I think in my um, early twenties, I came across self help books, and uh, I I I did not I couldn't believe that I didn't come across that genre of books earlier because there was something good about reading about what. people have actually done in their lives and uh, when they share their experiences on how they solved some problems for themselves and uh, you know how just just reading about uh, lives of great people and productivity tips and life hacks kind of changed my life so that is definitely my genre of books and uh, there are so many books if i have to mention um, i'm sorry i didn't like make notes of those books but uh, one book that really comes across uh, when i think of my favorite book would be ikigai um, it's about the japanese philosophy of life uh, it's about that's, how people... that's one of the recent books uh, sneha so it's like being a reader myself i can completely relate to all the things that you have uh, been saying the self help books and reading about people and uh, Uh, the things that they have done in life so mm-hmm. i i am yet to read uh, read that book and i will surely take some tips from you uh, <laughs> on that book yes you, uh, you are saying something about the books nia you can complete that oh yeah so uh, yeah i i was just saying that uh, that book is about you know living a holistic life and uh, finding your purpose and uh, trying to live a beautiful life long life uh, by living a very simple life um i think it it's also one of the books that will help people um find a reason to wake up every morning to get through the day you know uh, i think similar to the question that you asked previously what keeps you going on a day to day basis so when someone has uh, trouble finding that i think that book is a good good read to try to identify what is that passion that we want to live towards uh thank you so much neha for that i think uh, after this i think people can pick up that book and uh, start reading and there will be a lot of things which uh, they would learn and maybe they, uh, it can help their lives i hope so <laughs> yeah so uh moving ahead neha so it's like i wanted to ask you about the current uh, technology trend so it's like there's a lot of new things uh, which are emerging so uh, you mentioned about cloud which is one of the things and there are other, other things as well we know about ai ml and there are a lot of buzzwords which are there in the industry so where do you see this uh, trend evolving and where do you see the current uh, tester placed in that uh, technology uh, stack or technology trend if you were to 
answer that yes absolutely um so i do think you know right now devops is uh, really uh, being adapted in many companies and it comes because people need speed and while we go for speed we cannot really neglect quality so we want speed along with quality so i think continuous testing is something uh, that is also going to become a uh, hands Hand, uh, hand in hand in hand with DevOps implementation. Uh, so with continuous testing comes test automation to make sure that, you know, uh, test automation uh, is definitely something that most companies are having now, but uh, they're all not necessarily a part of the pipeline. Uh, so implementing that, I think, will become like a thing that everyone um, will definitely go towards. And yes, uh, AI and machine learning um, has already, uh, you know, taken up speed, but not so much that everyone's using AI and machine learning. So I think AI and machine learning will also become more like something that uh, most people may have to start using at least uh, at least AI ML implemented in an already existing tool, maybe to find uh, predictions and things like that when it comes to test case analysis or test result analysis or uh, you know things like that. So uh, I I also I also go with the same thing that the industry is going with the buzzwords like AI and ML, and I'm sure that continuous testing is going to become something that is um, just obvious for people to start using because of the... Yes, rightly mentioned. Yeah. So I think, uh, so CT or continuous testing as they say, I think it would be the de facto standard and it would be very much needed uh, going forward. And uh, apart from that, AI and ML and all those things can add uh, to the testing domain and people can get a lot more benefits uh, through this new technology. So one final question, Sneha, before I let you go. So it's like we have been working from home uh, for a uh, past couple of months now. So uh, how has been your experience and what are your views about the work from home thing? Um, I absolutely love working from home, uh, especially because I feel like I'm more productive, uh, less distractions, and uh, I've cut down on my commute time. In a way, uh, I used to enjoy my commute time because it was more like my me time uh, when I was driving, you know, just not listening to anything, just driving, focusing on driving and myself. I miss that. But overall, I really like working from home because I think it has improved my work life balance. And um, it's I think I've gained so much more time back uh, from without having to getting ready and go to work and travel. Uh, so I, I think I noticed that even uh, with my colleagues, they say they've become more productive ever since they've started working from home. So I, I hope this, uh, I hope we get to continue this and this slowly becomes a reality even after the pandemic. Uh, thank you so much, Nea. I think work from home has came as a boon for you, I suppose, and you have had a lot more hours uh, to your day. So uh, finally, uh, I would like to welcome you once again on behalf of the entire team, Sneha. Thank you so much uh, for being our speaker and we are really looking forward for your session at uh, the conference. Thank you, Harsh. The pleasure is all mine. I'm very happy to be a part of the conference. Thank you once again.